Hello students. Today's topic is treatment of bad debt in accountancy. You know, in business, credit purchase and sales are very common. When the goods are sold on credit, then the entry means pass that debtors account debit to sales account. Suppose 50,000 worth of goods are sold, then 50,000 debtors account debit to sales account. Debtors account also known as customers account. Customers account. When the goods are sold on credit, then it is very common in business that a portion is collected, suppose by cash, then cash account or bank account debit. Suppose 45,000 is collected from the customer and 5,000 worth of goods which have been sold on credit not realized. In that case, we write bad debt account debit 5,000 and 200 debtors account this is 50,000. Although in general it happens in business that in which year the goods have been sold Generally, in the next accounting year, bad debt occurs. But whatever it might be the case, in that case, bad debt account will be debited because bad debt is a loss and debtor's value is decreasing for bad debt. Now, the question is how bad debt account will be closed? Because you know, bad debt is a nominal account and it should be closed. Bad debt account. It is a nominal account and you know debtors is a personal account. All nominal accounts are closed at the time of finalization of account and the balance of debtors account is a personal account and real account balances are put into the balance sheet according to their nature of balance. Therefore, bad debt account should be closed. How? There are two ways to close bad debt account. One way, alternative, alternative, one. How? Directly we can charge to the PL account, PL account debit to bad debt account. This is 5000. This is one. And alternative two. Provision for doubtful debt account is already maintained, suppose in the account and in that case bad debt may be closed through provision for doubtful debt account, provision for doubtful debt account debit to bad debt account. It may also may be done. Follow it, in this case directly bad debt is charged to the PL account and in this case bad debt is first charge to the provision for doubtful debt account and from the provision for doubtful debt account the closing balance will be either debited or credited to the PL account and showing the position provision for doubtful debt account opening balance suppose opening balance was by balance brought down is 10,000 and now Bad debt occurs rupees 5000 to bad debt account 5000. And now the difference that is to PL account will be 5000. This will be charged to the, the PL provision for doubt debt debit to PL account in PL account by provision for doubt full debt. Or it may happen that if the closing balance is also is charged here, suppose closing balance is charged is 8000. 
in that case 13000 and here 13000 and difference is 3000 it will go to the till account till account balancing figure that is very clearly you understand the provision previously was 10000 opening balance it is carried down from the last year it is the opening balance this year back date happens 5000 this year again closing provision has been maintained 8000 then the difference will go to the till account this is the one alternative way to treat back date at the time of financial account directly better to charge to the pl account again in nutshell i am telling you since back date is a nominal account it should be close to the pl account directly it can be charged to the pl account pl to back date otherwise it may be debited to the provision for the outflow date first then from the provision for the outflow date account the closing balance will be charged to the pl account After balancing this provision for the outflow date account, but here it will be kept in the mind of the student that opening balance ten thousand more than opening balance to the back date may not cannot be charged. Up to the opening balance may be charged here. The difference to be charged to the PL account always. Thank you.